My friend, do you not understand that your pain and my pain is the motivation? You, you see, pain is uncomfortable. Pain doesn't feel good, right? So there's two types of decisions you can make. You can make the decision with the pain to soothe in the pain, or you can use the pain to push you to push past more pain. You see, life is a painful experience. It really is. There's death, there's heartbreaks, there's loss of a job, there's things not going your way, like there's being broke, there's, there's just people not doing you right. Like life is pain. Every single day, you and I are going through pain. When you look in the mirror and you don't see the body you want, pain. When you open up your bank account, you don't see what you want, pain. When you're at a job you really don't like, pain. If you're in a relationship and it's always fighting, pain. All right? If you're arguing with your parents, pain. You know, if you feel like nobody's supporting you in your endeavor right now, pain. You get that, right? There's not a day goes when you stub your toe, pain. When you're hungry, pain. You get that. That is the motivation because the pain is there to either ele elevate you or deteriorate you. And you decide that. See, everybody is created by the decisions they make when they're going through pain. And you have to understand that when you go through this pain, it's, uh, it's, it's, again, it's also a tool for you. Somebody kept asking me, hey, what's your, what's your motivation? What motivates you? My, my pain motivates me. One, one of the biggest pains that ever motivated me in my life is not being good enough, not having enough, not having enough money, not, uh, not having uh, the right relationship, you know? So I, those, are, those are, have been big, big motivators for me in my life. You know, just recently too, I'm still going through some emotional pain, you know, with this person and it's, it's, it pushes me and, and it also hurts, you know, you, you don't feel good enough or you don't feel like, why didn't it work? Or like you, you start asking yourself these questions, whether you probably experienced it with a relationship. And so that pain right there, it, it's such a crucial moment because you and I decide what we're going to say in that fucking moment. Are you going to say... No, nah, it's not you, man. You're good. You're good. You're good. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep pushing. It's okay. I know it doesn't feel good. I know it doesn't feel good, but you have to understand like, all right, like this is part of life and you have to keep moving forward. And there's, it's not that there, oh, there's something better out there for you. It's like, it, there's something for you out there. You know, there's something for me out there. There's something for you out there. And you got to just keep pushing through what you're going through right now. And, um, I, I, when I got fired from my like four year job, you know, I, I left with a smile, you know, I was super excited. I'm like, here's the, this is where life taking on the next adventure, you know? And some of my biggest, toughest times in my life, obviously I was, I was broke. I didn't have anywhere to stay. I my, but the hardest ones have been emotional for me, man. Love. I've yet in my life to have like a healthy relationship. And that's tough for me. Like I've always been able to like, obviously I've had injuries in my body. Obviously there's been times where I've pulled something. Um, my body's obviously had ups and downs, you know, finances, ups and downs. Finances, I struggled a lot, you know, and with finances at one point until I finally got some help and understanding how it all works, right? But I looked for help. But, you know, relationships is something I've always struggled with, man. It's something that it, it no matter what, man, it's that emotional pain that lingers, you know, I feel like with your body and then your in finances is something that obviously it hurts too, and not being able to pay some bills or being behind on bills. I've always been able to pay my bills. I've always been able to pay my bills. It's more so like the stress of like, how am I gonna pay it? And then you find out things that you always, you always find a way to make ends meet, right? You always do, that's just how the mind works. Um, but, you know, the, the, the motivation comes from the fact that you are feeling some pain and that pain is forcing you to do something. It's just the vices that you do are what literally self-sabotage you. You know, whether it's the drinking, the smoking, the eating, you know, the staying up late, watching TV or whatever it might be. It's you're not using what you're ultimately going through to push you through other things in life. I, I want you to understand that. The pain you feel can be directed, redirected into something good. It's just not going to, you're just not going to feel like doing the hard things when you're also going through pain. When you're going through pain, you want the pain to soothe. You want the pain to just, you want to alleviate it. I get it. Just yesterday, I was just going through it too. And I'm like, man, just don't do anything that this alleviates pain. Just try to do what you can. Try to do the best you can with work. 
get on TikTok live. And so I was going through it. Somebody, she's like, the person left my house. And I'm like, man, like I just didn't feel good. And I said, fuck it. Don't make it about you. Go help somebody else out. Go help somebody out. And I jumped on TikTok live for about an hour and a half. And that entire hour and a half, I didn't think about it. I just worked and I helped people, help people. Then my boy called me. We talked for about like 35 minutes. I was helping him out. And so understand whenever you are in the process of improving yourself, when you're going through pain, you can't really sit there and think about, oh man, like what do they think about me? Or like, why did my job let me go? I was doing so good. Like I should have been there or they, they, they I love them so much. It would, you, when it's when you stop helping others or getting into flow state and flow state, fucking mosquito dog. Um, and when you stop getting doing something that betters the world and you start really focusing on uh, on your life and and why didn't it go your way because there's always God's way right that you suffer more you suffer uh, uh, when you suffer with no reward you're just sitting in your pain coming up with fake scenarios that don't even, don't that you don't even know the tr if they are true or not with your job with your finances with the, with your with your significant other or whatever it might be right so understand that the pain that you have right now, it, it, it's, it's helping you practice your self-talk. Are you going to be like, yo, it's all good. Life happens for me, not to me. Life happens for me, not to me. I'm getting, this is going to help me push forward. This is going to help me push forward. This is, this, 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 is needed for my, this is needed for me to actually become a better person. This is needed for me to become much more in shape, financially better, maybe a better, be, become a better man. You know, that, that's it. This is what this is for. And this is what's going to help me. I know it's tough. I know it's that, and that's that's what the, the the professionals do. All right, the amateurs are like, man, this sucks, man. Like, fuck, dude, why didn't do this? It could have gone better. It wasn't even me. Like, like I did this. It should have been like you just start playing the victim, and so you you don't want to slip into that victim mentality. Have I? Has it happens to me too? Yes, it's a fine line. It's a fine line, but that's when you have to like get yourself out of it. Like, no, what do I? Let me go knock out a workout. Let me go do some burpees. Let me go do some push-ups. Let me go. Let me raise my frequency. Let me let me do something positive to create a way a, way, a better way of thinking, a more positive way of thinking. And that is ultimately where you cultivate this mindset of this person that just can't be broken. As much as life tries to break you, you're like, no, 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 no. Even if these things go like these things hurt me. It won't break me. It won't. It won't allow me to self sabotage, and that's where self mastery really comes in. And you control that with your food. I'm like, I'm not gonna go eat shitty. I'm not gonna go smoke the weed. I'm not gonna go drink. No, as much as I want to, as much as I want to, just like, fuck, man, like, just feel better. It, it takes a strong individual to take what is going on and transform it into an opportunity. Like, it takes a very strong mental individual to do that, and you want to be that person. You because you reap so many rewards because you become this person who takes massive adversity, massive pain, and uses it as fuel to direct your workouts, your finances, your 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 community, your relationships. You know, and you use it because you might have a great relationship, but work just fucked you. Work just fired you. Well, you know what? Use that motivation to cultivate a better relationship. Use that motivation and that pain to cultivate a, a better job, a better you. You know, hit the gym even harder, right? Or maybe you got an injury. Well, you know what? Use that opportunity that you feel that pain right there to go harder at work, to go harder in your relationship. Like, you, you see what I'm getting at? Like, whatever part of your life ha that causes you a lot of pain allows you to also work on another area of your life and go even harder in that part. So understand, pain is the motivator because it is something that forces you to do something. There is no comfort. There's no movement in comfort. You're chilling in your couch. You're all in your blanket. You're not moving, motherfucker. But the blanket's on fire. The couch is on fire. You're fucking moving. So remember, the pain is the motivation. Allow it by using your self-talk. This is gonna. This is gonna push me. This is pushing. Staying consistent. Don't break character. Stay and stay in alignment. Let me hit this workout. Let me go make some money. Let me. Uh, let me just do what is gonna benefit me and make me better. Not make me worse. Not tear me down. All right. Stay with it. I believe in you. You got this, my friend.